this is Brian and uh, welcome to my room. This video I'm finally getting to the Robotech VF1J uh, figure that I got for Christmas of 2022. Uh, I have not opened it yet. Well, I've opened it, but I haven't really taken it out of the box or really uh, examined it yet. So I'm going to do that now. As you can see, this is the Robotech US, not the Japanese Gundam. Uh, but it's very detailed and it looks great. This is put out by Toinami and Funimation and Harmony Gold. So it um, comes with the, the robot or the guardian, Rick Hunter, who is not to scale, and the transformable um, guardian. So here's the box. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and uh, take a look at it and get it on my shelf. All right, first of all, we have a whole tray full of hands and little weapons and little accessories. There is the instructions and some stickers, which I'm probably not going to do right now. Full instructions to transfer, transform to the different modes for the uh, character. So I will sit down and go through those later. And here is the, the robot itself. Here he is. He is uh, posable, just like a normal action figure, um, transformer even. Uh, plenty of detail on there. Uh, I'm noticing there's a little bit of looseness, and this is the first time I really handled this, but a little bit of looseness to the movement, and it is all plastic. Uh, so. That's a little surprising. I would expect a little bit more stiffness in the movement, but um, overall he looks very cool. And then we have Rick Hunter. He's in his own little coffin here. Okay, so he does come with a base, some little holes in his feet. Here's the character himself. He looks great. He really looks like what you saw. And his helmet, which I don't know that that helmet is actually going to fit him. Um, I don't, maybe if you take his, oh, okay, there we go. So then the hair has to come off, his anime hair. And then the helmet goes on. Somehow. There he is with his helmet. It's a little awkward of a fit. But um, I think I like him better with his hair. That classic anime hair. Did I get that on there right? I don't think so. <laughs> All right, well, I will fix him later. But he does have a base, so he will uh, look pretty cool. He has one hole there in his foot. I will fix his hair <laughs> later when I have a little bit more opportunity. But, um, uh, I'm going to uh, go ahead and get the stickers put on and um, get him posed and uh, get him up on my shelf with some of the others. So he's, uh, he's a nice addition. It was kind of a, uh, it was a Christmas present, as I said, and it was a spur of the moment. I saw him and put him on my list and um, he showed up. So I like it and... Uh, 
his movement is pretty good. He's got some articulation, in, obviously, in his knees. Uh, the hands turn. There's no bending of the elbow. His head turns. Um, and then he does have the torso movement. So, pretty cool character. And, uh, of course, he's almost as big as his robot. So, very cool. And um, if you enjoyed it, I will be back with some more videos, and uh, thanks for watching.